to my channel Sophia's Boutique. Thank you for joining me. I've had a, a few new subscribers as well so I'm so excited to see that there's people actually watching my videos. Um, I've had a bit of a fangirl moment as well because Tamlin um, from Sewing on the Time um, she said that she was going to be watching a couple of my videos and also Michelle from Sewing Bunny as well so I was just ah, so excited um, yeah I'll calm myself down so as the title suggests um, I'm going to do a bit of a pattern haul today so I've done a fabric haul I've done a pat I'm going to be doing a pattern haul honestly I am sewing these things up as well um, I'm gonna well what I'm wearing at the minute is the Nina Lee Southbank jumper sweater dress so I am gonna be I'll do a vlog about this because I have absolutely loved this pattern I bought it on a whim last week and I thought to myself right I'll it was cold and snowy I had a snow day um, so I was working from home bought it anyway I'm gonna do a vlog about it but I've made three of these um, and this is one of them and it's just perfect for this type of weather so yeah I am sewing things as well I'm not just buying fabric and buying patterns I am actually making things as well but yeah um so today I was going to go through the patterns that I have had a bit of a splurge on now this is this video is really overdue because I actually bought these patterns in the Black Friday sales so what I do with my path with patterns that I want to buy is I don't when I see a pattern I like I don't buy it straight away I'll put it on the notes app in my phone and then what I'll do is I'll it, I'll think about it and then if there's a sale coming up I'll go through that notes app and then have a look and see actually do I want this have, have I, is there something else that's come out again that's quite similar so yeah um, I feel like it's it's better way for me to, um, of, of getting patterns instead of whenever a new pattern is released to just go out and buy that pattern I mean there is I do do that a little bit as well but yeah this makes it a little bit more of a thought out buy so I went through my notes app and I had loads of patterns on there that I had actually wanted to buy so when this when there was a Black Friday sale I went through when there's a Black Friday sale I went through my notes up and had a look at all the patterns that I'd put on there and a few of them I'd, I'd look at and I thought oh actually there is something quite similar to that so I didn't end up buying it and I'd, I'd taken it off my notes list um, so yeah so I ended up buying quite a few patterns <laughs> And all of these are PDFs that I bought. Um, I like PDFs. I just, I, I really like it. I think the inner child in me, I think I mentioned this before, but the inner child in me likes sticking and cutting it out. I find that quite therapeutic as well. So um, I quite like that. So yeah, these were all PDFs. And I, do, I like printing out the instructions. I don't know what it is. When I'm normally then sewing, I'll have my iPad playing or the TV playing something. Um, so I don't want to be then looking online um, or on the screen so it's best for me just to have a paper version and then I can be just be looking at it when I'm when I'm sewing up so I'm just gonna go through all the patterns that I bought so the first few and um, oh, what I've done as well is I brought some fabrics from my um, fabric stash to possibly go through suggestions of what I might what fabric I might make them up in as well so design any order that I bought them I just as I said I bought them all at once so the first one was the Tilly and the Buttons Rosa dress Rosa Rosa dress um, and it's a it's a shirt and a shirt dress now I've wanted a shirt dress pattern for a long time so there's been a few that have been out I think there's the Rita shirt dress as well that was up but this one I just thought if I'm gonna be making a shirt dress I think Tilly and the Buttons will probably be the best ones to go with to make it because her instructions are really good, really, really simple, straightforward. So I'll make this as the first one and then I'll see um, see what it's like. So yeah, shirt dress. I, I don't think I'll make the shirt. I'll maybe making the shirt dress. I, lo I love my dresses. So shirt dress and I just I like it because it's got that it goes in at the waist and then it flares out a little bit as well so yeah i was really excited about this one 
really excited and then as I said any ones that have come up after that they've just not they're just not being in the same style of this one so I really wanted it so I've got it the fabric suggestions as well so it says medium and lightweight woven fabrics such as cotton lawn chambray lighter weight denim fine needle cord double gauze linen blends viscose and shirting cotton so I have got a fabric that I think would go quite well with this and then the sizes so the sizes go from well I'll just put this up actually so it goes from a waist size 24 inch to waist 38 inch so it's not it's not the best it's not the best um inclusiveness I think they were they're extending a lot of their size ranges so hopefully this might be one of them but yes yeah, so I think I'll be going probably for a size 5 then 32 inch but then, oh it's got the finished garment measurements as well so I'll just have to have a look at that but yeah and the fabric I was gonna go for that is this one this is um, John Lewis I, this is a fine needle cord that I got from John Lewis so this is a fine needle cord that I got from John Lewis so I feel like this will be really good to make it up in it is a bit, a bit of a busy style so I don't know what it's going to be like as a full-on shirt dress but I'm thinking collar will just break it up a little bit Maybe you could have it a little bit unbuttoned, have a little uh, black t-shirt or something underneath when it's colder. Or pull it. Mm, if I'm gonna, make, I don't know if I'm gonna have it more fitted or if I'm gonna have it a little bit looser. But yeah, I thought I'd go with that one. And it's quite a, it's not thick. It's it's quite a nice, movable baby cord, needle cord. So, hundred percent cotton. But it's quite an expensive fabric in my eyes anyway I think it was quite dear so I might make it up in something else and make a, a twirl um, so yeah that was that one I'm very excited about that and then I also bought from Tilly and the Buttons there was a few from Tilly and the Buttons so I also bought the Martha dress as well so this again it's been on my list for ages I quite like the high the high um, high collar and the weight flare, the fitting flare. I think fitting flare suits me anyway, so I quite like that fitting flare. Um, I don't know if a high, well, this is a high neck band, isn't it? This looks okay on me. But yeah, so I, I quite like the look of that one as well. And again, there was nothing that was that had come out recently that was similar to this. If you look at the line pattern, the pattern, um, line drawings you can see fit and flare I'm gonna make a long longer sleeve one I think that one is the one that I'd go for with that and again let's have a look at the measurements I'm sorry I'm kind of faffing about with, with this because I've printed it out it's all up and down a little bit so the body measurements goes from again 24 inch to 38 I think that that must be a standard for Tilly and the Buttons then fabric suggestions so it says light medium weight fabrics such as viscose oh I've got quite a few viscoses so yeah could definitely make that a viscose silk or polyester crepe de chine cotton lawn chambray border and glaze double knit with little stretch lighter weight wool avoid directional prints as the skirt is cut on the bias at an angle oh, so I think that'll need quite a bit of fabric that one then so yeah I'll just have to have a look at my sta stash and see I've got nothing at the minute that was standing out for that one and then another one from Tilly and the Buttons was the Eden so I, f I find it a, a struggle trying to find decent waterproof jackets I really do so I thought this might be a good one I can make it my own so that's the line drawings as well and it also you've got the duffel version as well so i might be going for that duffel version but a waterproof one as well so it's quite nice um you're gonna i'm gonna need a lot of notions for this one so i'm gonna hold off for now because i'm 
no, obviously none of the shops are open and I could get it online. So fabric suggestions, medium to heavy weight woven, woven fabric such as wool coating, cotton drill, wax canvas, lining, yeah. So there's lots of different ones and again same size range again. So that one, don't think I'll be making that one anytime soon anyway so I'll leave that. And then, now this one, I don't think I bought this in the, I don't think I bought this in the Black November sale, but I, I, this was in there somewhere, so I'm including this because I really like it, um, but I, don't, I think I bought this a little while ago. Anyway, this is the So House 7 Tea House Top and Dress, and I think that's a beautiful, really nice dress that is, really, really nice. Um, and I've I've not got too many woven dresses. I think this would be really nice actually. And then that's the line drawing. So I'm gonna go with a longer one. I think that'll be quite nice. And then the size chart. It goes from a thirty-two inch from the waist. No, sorry. Um, it goes from. That's a bit confusing. 24 and a half. 24 and a half all the way to 39 and a half. Um, and then it recommended fabrics are lightweight fabrics such as rayon, chalet, wool chalet, silk, cotton voil, linen. And then the versions D, E and F. Oh, so that's D, E and F. So that's the one that I want to make. But you can make um, cotton, cotton lawn, cotton voil, linen, chambray, cotton madras cotton yarn dye so I think this is the fabric that I want to make it in now this fabric um, this is my mum's stash now as I said this is quite old this fabric because she doesn't buy fabric anymore um, there's a lot more of it there's the cutting pieces for some reasons anyway this and I think this would be really nice number one because I can have it as a bit of a a twirl um so i can see test the pattern out with it and then i think it'll also give it like a it's although she's got a really nice pretty red dress there i think it'll give it like a utility style look i think it's got a slight look to it um as that as that pattern so i think that'd be quite nice and i could i could jazz it up with accessories i think that'd be really really good to jazz it up with with accessories um yeah so i'm excited about that one as well i think that yeah this one i'll be making up i think a little bit sooner so when spring and oh i could even because the way it is like that you could even wear like a polo neck and thick thick tights with it as well i think you could definitely have that for winter or for summer and then a pattern company that i've not bought from before but when it was black friday um they had some really good sales on so pauline alice they were on my notes app so at some point someone must have mentioned them i think it was a fold line i think um so yeah so i bought the sarah jacket so that's pauline alice patterns and the sarah jacket now it's i thought to myself oh i've just bought the eden one but i really like the look of this one it was slightly different <laughs> i'm trying to justify it to myself it looks slightly different so it'll be worth it and it was in the sale so yeah so the body measurements for that one from the waist it goes from 25 and a half to 39 body measurement wise and again it's the same type of fabrics as well so yeah i quite like that one so i thought that'd be that'd be an exciting one to sew up and then again from pauline alice it was the hemispheric coat now i just fell in love with this coat that's the line drawings i don't know if you can see that yep so i thought that was really beautiful again really really pretty hemispheric coat it gave me now i might be on my own here but it gave me do you know in harry in harry potter um when they have the goblet of fire and the, the girls school come and 
they have the, the pale blue coats i don't know it just it just gave me that type of vibe so i thought oh i really like that <laughs> um so yeah i have the matching blue hats as well if i can find it i'll put um i'll put a photo up of it but yeah it just it gave me that type of vibe so i don't have any fabric that'll go with that so i'm gonna have to probably just have a look i think fab works are pretty good at, at wool wool type fabrics i might have to when they're open i might have to go in and have a look because i mean i could look at it online but I'd, I'd like to feel it and have a look at it so yeah hopefully when they're open soon i can so yeah that was the hemispheric coat i love that one and then also gosh i bought a few from pauline alice um, the other one was the Sidavi. Sidavi. I'm really bad at pronouncing. I'm really sorry. Sidavi dress. It's this one anyway. So I just found it. I found the neckline really interesting. It's got these little pleats in the neckline. Um, you can't really see it on there. Maybe on the line drawing you can see. So you can see those pleats. I think it had really interesting I've not seen something like that that was a little bit different so I added that one in as well um, so yeah we really like that fabrics with this one cotton lawn uh, silk twill cre crepe viscose so um, yeah I've got quite a few viscoses so I could make definitely make something with one of them so 24 and a half waist up to 40 so yeah oh it's got two scissors in terms of difficulty so yeah that was the last one from Pauline Alice and then this one I've had on my list for ages and ages and ages it's the Stylark Asher dress now I've seen so many pretty dresses and uh, versions of this um, on Instagram and I think it'd be perfect for me because it's got that nipped in shearing in the waist and I think I think that would really suit me so yeah I really like that I was a little bit nervous buying a style art pattern because I've heard from a lot of people that the the instructions are a bit hit and miss so I'm hoping that I might find an online YouTube video where someone's doing a sew along to it or something that could help me out so yeah I really like that one so it's just it's I think it's it's really my type of style is that one it's excited and the dresses that you can, well sorry the fabric you can make that from so it says silk rayon and georgette rayon i'm pretty sure is same as viscose isn't it so yeah so viscose and i've actually thought i wouldn't actually and i've just thought and when i have looked through the instructions they are a little bit sparse to be fair don't think, oh it does say downloadable pattern tips so i think you can download some more pattern tips but i'm, I'm not seeing many many instructions but it'll be fine it'll be fine so the fabric that i wanted to make it in is this viscose so I bought this um, months ago now, months and months ago, um, and I bought this from Dewsbury Market. So it's this really pretty pinky purpley with white dots on it. It's a nice viscose, really nice and soft. Um, and the reason that I thought I'd make it in this is because Pigeon Wishes on Instagram, I've noticed that she's got um, an event for she's got an event for valentine's day where you dress up in pink and red so maybe red lipstick with with this pink i thought i thought that'd be quite nice so i'm gonna i'm gonna sign up for that and then hopefully i'll have this made up for that but that'd be quite good so yeah i thought I'd, I'd use this fabric and it wasn't very expensive was this fabric so what i'll do is I might just make it up. I might not make it a, a twile um, with another type of fabric. I'll just make it up and, and hope for the best. So, yep, that's that one. And then I also bought a couple from the Friday Pattern Company. Now, this one, so pretty, the Hughes dress. 
so really really like this one um, I like all of them I don't know why I'm saying I really like this one I like all of them otherwise I want to bought them so that's the the pattern uh, line drawing for it and again I really liked it because it goes in and then it flares out a little bit and it's just got these buttons so I could have some fun with the buttons and then at the back it's got this little tie as well where you can you can cinch it in a little bit so I thought that was a little bit unique really like that one thought that was a little bit unique and the recommended fabric is woven fabrics so um, it says a drapey rayon or silk will give more elegant dressy look while a more sturdy fabric like linen will give you a gorgeous everyday dress um, we encourage you to be creative and daring with fabric. Any dress weight woven fabric is suitable. Oh, so that's that's good to know that any. But yeah, I think I'm going to go with the viscose. It goes from a 24 inch waist up to a 53 inch waist. Well, the fabric that I'm going to make the huge dress, huge dress from is this viscose that I bought from, from Dewsbury Market again a few months ago. So it's a nice, nice soft drapey viscose. And it did say you could use any, any woven fabric. So I think that could look quite nice in a, in a, in that black and white color. So yep, yeah, that's, I think what I'm gonna go for with that one and then the next one from the Friday Pattern Company is the Cambria Duster so this is a really pretty it's quite light there but yeah there um, so it's like a little like a coat um, so that's the line drawing so I think it'd be really nice with the type of, of climate and the type of weather that we have i think it'd be really nice even in spring summer sometimes i'm a, i'm a really cold person so i feel the cold a lot so for me probably even in summer sometimes uh, when it gets starts to get a little bit chilly um that's the cambria duster and the sizes for that one goes from a waist 24 inch to a waist 47 inch so that's pretty good. Now, I don't have a fabric in my stash for this one, but recently, and I've had such a good week this week because I've had two bits of really good news. I have been picked to be a blogger for Felicity Fabrics. So I'm so excited about that. I got an email, I, I um, sent them a message saying, yes, I'd be really interested to do this, to be a guest blogger for yourselves. And they replied back and they said, yeah, we'd love you to be one of our bloggers um, for the month of, of 2021. And so I just have to choose some fabric now. So I'm thinking I really want to make this. So a boucle or a, a wool type fabric, because they've got some lovely, beautiful fabric. So I think a boucle might be quite nice in this. So yeah, really excited. And the second bit of news was I've been, I'm doing a course um, for work. I'm doing a prescribing course. And one of the elements was that, was where you have to do an exam for the drug calculations and everything like that. Um, and some short answers about, about how the drugs work as well. And I passed that, so I was really happy. So I've had a really good, good week this week. Um, Right, back to the patterns. So the next pattern that I got, this is from Forget Me Not Patterns. So I haven't got any of their patterns. And again, they had a sale on, so I bought this. And it's the Clementine Top and Dress. So there it is. So there's that one and that one. I'm obviously going to go for the for the dress. Again, a fit and flare. I feel like I'm a bit boring. I just keep going with the same styles, but that's the style that I know suits me because um, I am I've got a, an hourglass figure so for me and my hips I like things to 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 flare out near the hip area so that's the best one for me sizes it goes from a waist do, 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 inch 21.5 to a 41.5 so pretty good size range there as well and the types of fabric that it says is medium to lightweight knit fabrics with at least 10% horizontal stretch. Both 
two-way stretch and four-way stretch are suitable for the cowl variation fabrics with a soft drape are ideal so merino cotton rayon blends are all recommended if you wish to sew this uh, so the inseam pockets avoid, avoid thin or very drapey fabrics and it's not suitable for stripes so yeah i think it's just a lovely um everyday dress this you could just wear it with tights or with jeggings jeans yeah really really like that one and the fabric that i've decided to make that one into is this is from again from my mum's stash this one so she I don't know what this fabric is um, it's got a really good stretch though it's got a yeah it's got a really good stretch uh, I quite like this deep purple color I don't have a lot of of outfits that are purple so I thought this would be really nice it's quite a it's very drapey, very drapey, really good stretch and there's quite a lot of it as well. I think it's probably about two and a half metres there. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one for that one. Um, and then the next one that I saw was the, um, Ad and again from Forget Me Not Patterns, the Adeline wrap dress and top. So i really like the look of this one i don't have a lot of wrap dresses i've just got the ravello from sew over it and i made that one and it was okay um but yeah i don't know and this one i liked it because on the actual uh, model it, it was quite a thick knit it looked like and it looked like it'd be quite good for for winter so i think that's why why i went for it in the end but i just think it looks really really um i think it'd be really, i like the little collar with it as well it looks like the wrap comes up quite high because i don't like the ones where the wraps quite where the opening is quite low down i like the ones where it's quite high up um oh no so it says here it's actually designed for woven fabrics also maybe it was just a thick woven fabric then right anyway so, and the sizing so it goes from a waist 21 and a half to a waist 41 and a half so a good a good range there and also in the line drawing I love that at the back you know, that that cinched in pleating so with the tie that goes round that would be really good and the materials required so fabric Adeline's designed to for light to medium weight non-stretch wovens with good drape so cotton viscose rayon silk wool and linen are all ideal try a chambre or a linen for a casual feel or go more dressy with a silk crepe de chine or swishy rayon oh i'm sure in the on the model it looked quite quite a thick fabric but anyway that looks fine if i can find it i'll put a little picture up of it and see what anyone else thinks maybe it was just me that that thought it looked like a, a knit but it looked like a thicker knit, so I think that was, that was the original reason that I went for it. But anyway, I can still use that one. And then the next ones. So these are my first Deer and Do, and again, they had a big sale on as well. So I went for, oh, I can never pronounce it, Myosotis dress now i feel like i am so late to the game with this everyone seems to have this everyone seems to have made this up i made beautiful 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 versions of it so i feel like i'm really late to the game but better late than never the only reason is i, I didn't get this is because i have the so liberated interland dress and that's very similar it's it's very similar it's got the buttons and it's got the the flared flared skirt so yeah i was really thinking do i need to get this but i've just seen so many people talking about this pattern and and you know and i've seen some really pretty versions and i think this, the stand collar was the thing the mandarin collar is it so that's the, the main thing that made me think oh this is different it's different so i, I can justify buying it so yeah i got that so i'm really excited about this one i'm excited about them all but really excited i think this is the one that i'm gonna make next yeah i've got a couple of things that i'm making up for my nephew at the minute but i think this is going to be the next so for myself just because i just think i oh, can't wait to make it and i've also got a couple of fabrics so i'll go through that in a minute 
so everyone knows this but I'll just show it anyway just in case it was someone like like me who hasn't seen it or hadn't, hadn't looked at it properly so that's a line drawing so I think I'm gonna go for, definitely gonna go for the one with the collar um, that's the one that I am gonna go for so the measurements for this goes from a waist inches 30, uh, 23 and a half to 37 and three quarters that doesn't seem like a wide range and the recommended fabrics chambray chambray rayon twill double gauze lightweight cotton sateen and allow extra fabric to match stripes or plaids so what i'm thinking what fabric i'm going to make that one is now I've got two, so this one I got from First for Fabrics, I've shown this in an earlier vlog as well, so beautiful double gauze, really pretty, um, so I think I'm, I'm going to make it in this because it said double gauze on there, so yeah, really pretty, so that one. But I'm really, I'm feeling quite precious towards this fabric. So what I might do is I might make a twirl um, in this fabric that I got from Pound Fabrics. So I think it was really cheap was this fabric. It was like 150 a metre or was it three, three pounds a metre? It was no more than three pounds a metre anyway. So uh, it's like a cotton poplin so I'm sure that'll be fine as well um so yeah that one it's not not drapey but I don't think it needs to be I think the collar will be quite nice with this one so I might I'll make it with this one first and then once I've got the fit and everything correct I'm gonna go for the double gauze then and then the second um deer and doe pattern that I got was the cardamom dress now I've not seen a lot of these made up I'm not sure, it's not as popular as the other ones that I've shown anyway, but it's this one. So again, I thought it'd be perfect for my type of style. It's got that cinched in waist, um, really interesting I thought it was, but it's also got a little bib, so it's got a little bib and then it's got a little collar and buttons as well, so lots of skills I thought I could learn with this one, lots of skills, I just think, yeah. And it's got a pocket as well yeah so that's a line drawing so i'm going to make the one with the sleeves See? the one with the sleeves so this one so and the measurements again 23 and a half waist uh, in inches up to 37 and three and a, uh, three and quarters and recommend fabrics so um cotton sateen viscose so yeah with this one I thought I would use now this fabric I got when I went to Egypt so it's um it's softened up in the wash quite a lot actually so this is a cotton and wool blend and I think this should be absolutely fine um it should be absolutely fine there's not has it got a lot of drape not really but I think it should be fine really lovely fabric and I thought I would go for this fabric because it's got a lot of details it's got the babe and then there's, it's got lots going on I didn't want to use um, like a, uh, any fabric with a print because I thought there's lots of details I wanted it to be a bit of a plainer fabric but with all the details and I could just have a nice funky buttons down the front that would give it give it a little bit of something and then last but not least, I got the Antrim dress. And this is from Itch to Stitch. So again, I've, I've never had um, patterns from Itch to Stitch before. This, I saw a vlog from Penguin and Pear. And she did a really interesting vlog about this. So I thought to myself, it's the kind of thing that I'd like. It's got a bit of a, a wrap at the top, but it doesn't look too deep. It's got a nice little band. I think it should be quite flattering around the stomach area and nipping in at the waist again. And then it's got that fit and flare, fit and flare thing again. So there's a bit of a, a trend going on here, isn't there? So yeah, I went for this one. So you can see 
the line drawing and I like the fact that it comes with different cup sizes as well so I thought it'd be quite good um, in her vlog she did mention that the, the the fit was was quite good as well so yeah so that's the line drawings that and that and I think the size range is pretty good as I said it comes with um, cup sizes I'm sure I heard somewhere that the instructions are quite good as well I've not really flicked through them but but I've heard the good so the waist goes it goes from a 25 inch to a 54 inch so that's really good really good range there and um, the types of fabrics so let's have a look it says use lightweight to medium weight knit fabric with 50 to 60 percent stretch a very good recovery rayon spandex um, and double brush poly are good choices oh, oh and there's a lining with it as well so lightweight night knit fabric so i've not not made many things with lining so i'm hoping she'll hold or the pattern will hold my hand through it otherwise i'll be looking for um some help with that online and with that fab uh, with that pattern i thought this fabric might be okay now it's a bit quite a jazzy fabric i know we're not going anywhere at the minute um but i've had this in my stash for a long time i think it's from pound fabrics again now i don't know what this is going to be like i don't know if it's it's too thin or if i'm putting a, a lining at the back it might not be too bad but yeah anyway it's it's stretchy um it's really stretchy it doesn't really stretch the other way i'm sure it said two-way stretch that was the most important thing but yeah it's got a really pretty <laughs> i'm not going to be wearing this to shops i <laughs> don't think but you never know I've put all this makeup on today to do a vlog because I'm not going anywhere when I'm going to work I'm, I'm not going to be putting makeup on because I've got a mask on all day so the only thing that I've got to put makeup on for and plus I'm not working um, tomorrow I'm filming this on a Sunday so I've got a three day weekend so I was Oh, it was a treat for me so I thought I know I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bit of vlogging so yeah so that's all the patterns that I bought a little while ago I've started making a few lists of a few things again on my on my notes app so I'm sure when there's another sale or you know if I really fancy something I'll go through my notes app and see what to buy um but yeah, so thank you for watching my vlog. Um, I'm gonna be post. I'm gonna try and post a couple more things as well. I've just been really busy recently with exams and and coursework and stuff, so not been really posting anything. But yeah, I'm gonna try and do a little bit better, especially now that I've got a few subscribers as well. So thank you for watching, and yeah, if you could like this video and also subscribe as well, please, if you do like what I'm posting. Okay, thank you. Bye.